Hey, if you think a Christmas carol is simply about crutchety old Ebenezer Scrooge being miserly and hating Christmas, well, think again. A Christmas carol is actually about somebody dealing with unprocessed trauma that has made them in to something that they don't want to be. It has completely changed their life. So let's talk about A Christmas Carol. To fully understand Ebenezer Scrooge, we have to go back to his childhood. And we see from the story that uh, in his childhood, his dad was really mean, mean dad. And he had sent him away to boarding school. He was himself so miserly and mean, he wouldn't even bring Ebenezer home on Christmas. So on Christmas, Ebenezer Scrooge was all alone at boarding school when everybody else got to go home and see their family. All right. Strike number one against Christmas for Ebenezer Scrooge, okay? And uh, we do finally see that his sister shows up to bring him back home. Good news, Ebenezer. Father, he is kind and he's allowing you to come home now and spend Christmas with the family. Gee, thanks, right? Um, okay, and strike number two for Ebenezer Scrooge comes with his business partner, Jacob Marley. Jacob Marley and Ebenezer Scrooge worked really well together, okay? They made a lot of money. They understood each other. You know, they had probably what was a very close relationship together. He dies and that leaves Ebenezer all alone once again. Now, when we process grief, okay, it is common to, you know, how do we numb ourselves when those thoughts come in reminding us about that individual that we lost? We look for ways to numb those thoughts. Ebenezer numbed that loss with money, right? Because if you're counting money, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is uh, way harder for you to have those thoughts and uh, remember somebody who you lost, right? So he numbed himself by counting money. Eventually, that turns him into somebody who, you know, we see bah humbug in A Christmas Carol. That's strike number two for Christmas. It's just not good. And then, of course, because he's turned himself into something that not too many people are fond of. A matter of fact, they cross the street to have to avoid talking to him. Well, of course, we see his wife approach him and say, you know what? This is not who I married. You're not that fun, loving, happy person. So may you be happy with the path that you have chosen, Ebenezer. Well, guess what? He didn't choose that path, okay? <laughs> He's a guy who's suffering, who's had horrible, horrible things happening to him during the month of December. Why would he like Christmas? We call these traumaversaries or trauma anniversaries. So you could be happy all year long and then all of a sudden that one month comes up every year and it just derails you. You are an entirely different different person because you're suffering. That's exactly what we see in Ebenezer. And if you can identify with Ebenezer Scrooge, then maybe it's time to have a little conversation with the three ghosts and realize that processing those traumatic events will allow you to see all the people who are around you who still want to love and support you. There you have it. That's what A Christmas Carol is really all about. So, God bless us, everyone. Subscribe, like, share. That's the therapeutic drive-through.